What up, foodie fam? It's your main man, Dame Drops, on the new 100% fresh beef quarter pounder train. Damon Patterson, better known as Dame Drops, is a well-known YouTuber with a heavy focus on the good and bad of all things fast food. And here are 10 things you might not know about Dame Drops. He's part owner of a restaurant. So is this like your first time having it or are you just what you normally order? Dame Drops is largely known for his YouTube channel where he first began his now popular career as a food reviewer. The first video on his channel is just over a minute in length in which he reviews the McDonald's frappe. While many are used to food reviewers critiquing fine dining restaurants, Dame Drops prefers to set his sights on more common and attainable food. This opened him up to appealing to a wider audience. While many people know him because of his YouTube career or perhaps one of his television appearances, a number of fans may not be aware that he has branched out into other businesses. We are international businessmen. His love of food has brought him to invest in other culinary-related businesses, one of which is a restaurant, which he co-owns called Mafungo, a restaurant in Connecticut that specializes in Puerto Rican and American fusion-style food. While he has recently announced other ventures, his participation with Mafungo is one of his lesser-known partnerships. He stated that branching off into other business is important to him, rather than simply relying on and working on his career as an influencer. Why he started on YouTube I've always loved food. I started doing food reviews in my car around 2009. <laughs> Some people might wonder what caused Dame Drops to first start posting video reviews of fast food on YouTube at a time when no one was really doing food review videos, let alone fast food reviews and casual environments such as in his car. In past interviews, he's mentioned the fact that he simply started because he greatly enjoyed food. He liked to find both the perks and flaws in food, and because he didn't really see anyone else on the platform doing these sorts of food reviews. His choice to do food reviews in a way that no one else had been appealed to the general masses and allowed him to quickly gain viewers and followers on the platform. When he first started, he didn't really think he would reach the level of success that he enjoys today. He simply had fun doing the videos. I like to have fun, 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 fun. Some would say that Dame Drops is a pioneer of these types of food reviews on YouTube. It was a great idea for him to get started doing these videos when no one else at the time was doing anything similar. While these days there are plenty of content creators on YouTube doing the same or similar things, Dame Drops has already cultivated a large following that has allowed him to remain relevant even today in a more saturated market. Fast food employees would contact him. Mr. Nolan, it's for you. Back in the early days of his career on YouTube, when he started to build his following, Dame Drops did his best to build good relationships with employees at his local fast food restaurants. He found that in creating and maintaining these relationships with fast food workers, they would contact him with information regarding new menu items that were coming. This often resulted in the chance to try and then review different products before they were even released to the general public. You hungry? I'm hungry. I say it's time to eat, bro. Investing the time to something that seems unimportant to most helped lead him on the path that would eventually become a very profitable career. Being able to get ahead of others that might be trying to copy the way he did his reviews helped him stay fresh and relevant to his audience. On top of providing him perks for his videos, it also helped Dame Drops build his reputation as a down-to-earth guy, the type of person you would want to sit around with and enjoy a meal. This reputation is what set him apart from other food reviewers of all types, whether they were copying his review style or doing something different. Many viewers have stated that they enjoy watching his videos because of the friendly vibe that he gives off. Dane Drops and Dr. Oz you're a poet. It's a little salt. <laughs> it's like a street feed. It's great. <laughs> While he did have a video that went viral, a review of a Five Guys burger, he didn't truly dip into mainstream fame until his appearance on Dr. Oz. While he was known for reviewing items served at fast food restaurants, items which are not well known for being healthy, Dr. Oz is known for promoting healthy lifestyle options. When the people from Dr. Oz's show reached out to Dame Drops, they were interested in challenging the way he did his food reviews. Mainly, they wanted to know if he had any interest in doing reviews on healthier items, which included more fruits and veggies. With his ever-growing reach on the internet, they hoped that Dame Drops would spread a message that healthier foods could be just as delicious and encourage his younger audience to eat a little better. Oz, let me tell you, you ready for this action? Dame Drops was happy to appear on a few episodes of Dr. Oz's show, 
and willing to help promote a healthier message to the audience that regularly viewed his show, as well as his online fans that would have watched the show. His first official appearance on mainstream television via Dr. Oz's show jump-started his career and provided him with other opportunities to appear on television, something that he had dreamed about since he was younger. While most viewers know him either from his YouTube channel or his later television appearances, Dr. Oz helped to really launch Dame Drops into mainstream recognition, bringing attention to small restaurants. Definitely different has a lighter bite to it. While Dame Drops is now a large content creator with a wide reach, he still finds joy in bringing attention to small restaurants, particularly if they're owned by individuals instead of large corporations. He loves getting the opportunity to use his platform to help small food service workers and enjoys bringing hidden gems to light that people might not have otherwise ever visited. Despite his hard-earned fame, Dame Drops has not lost his ability to see the joy in showing people that good food can be found in even the smallest of restaurants. He helps his viewers see the fun in trying new restaurants and branching out from those well-known places that everyone goes to. I'll have the Big Mac, please. This is showcased in his newest Netflix series, where he travels to different smaller and less known towns in the United States and helps shine a light on them and the foods they specialize in. Because of his following, his appearance at these local restaurants has helped drive customers to the restaurants, both local diners and those who travel from other places just to try the food for themselves. Dame Drops has stated in interviews that he absolutely loves being able to shine a light on places that are not typically known outside of their local area. He doesn't have a culinary background. All right, well, let's get a little bite of Cleveland, shall we? While people may think Dame Drops has some sort of background in the culinary industry due to his love of judging food, many would be surprised to find that he in fact does not have any background in the food business. His reviews became well known not necessarily because people agreed with his reviews every time or anything like that. They became known because of the guy behind the camera and how genuinely he came across while testing out fast food menu items. He is simply a person who enjoys eating and has always found it fun to truly taste what he eats and share his opinion with others whether that opinion is good or bad. I am better than you. With no formal training under his belt, all of his reviews on food have been true to how he feels about the item and are not based on any sort of professional culinary opinions. Having made such a large name for himself in the culinary world, it makes it even more impressive how far he has come without having any sort of formal training. This truly speaks to the fact that he's just a friendly guy who wanted to post videos on YouTube for fun and never expected to make a giant career out of it. He used to manage retail stores. I want to talk to your manager. No, no, no. Please don't call my manager. Instead of a culinary background, Dame Drops has a background in managing retail stores. Well before his channel and his career in television took off, he found himself working in large-name retail stores and managing employees. This is not the career background that most people would associate with someone who reviews food and has appeared on several television shows about the culinary industry. Despite his current fame, his humble retail background was likely a proponent to cultivating the friendly demeanor that he exudes in all of his videos and television appearances. Having worked previously in customer service focused careers such as large name retail stores, he would have had to either already possess or learn the skills required to come across as friendly and charismatic. He likely never would have thought that the skills learned while working those jobs would have helped him in his YouTube videos. These skills also turned into a full-time and rewarding career as a television star and influencer. Dame is like my big baby, I just adore him so much. While many fans likely have a hard time picturing Dame Drops working at their local Walmart, he did in fact start at similar jobs just like anyone else. His slingshot into fame ensured that he would not stay in the retail management business, as he turned the YouTube channel he started for fun into a long-term career instead. He took a short break from reviewing. Goodbye, cruel world. While some fans may not remember this, and some may not have even known who Dame Drops was at the time, he did take a break from his fast food reviews at one point in time. In early 2016, he put out a video announcing his decision to stop reviewing fast food. In the video, he stated the reason for his decision to take a break from his reviews was due to his health. This was likely because his intake of fast food was greatly increased in order to release videos. And as we all know, fast food is not a healthy option all the time. 
As far as fans knew, there was no solid return date from this break. And while many understood that it was necessary, that didn't mean they weren't disappointed to be missing out on content from their favorite fast food reviewer. Some fans even feared that he might not return at all. Oh my god, you're crying. I'm not crying, you're crying! Others feared that if he did, he may not return with the same type of content and might change things in ways they wouldn't enjoy as much. Luckily for the fans who waited patiently, the break did not last long for Dame Drops. He returned from his short hiatus only a few months after he announced it, and continued on building his channel and his future career in the culinary entertainment industry. He played a character in a YouTube series. This burger is chock full of hotness and juiciness! Dame Drops' career was not just limited to appearing in videos and television shows that had to do with the culinary industry. In fact, in 2017, he appeared in a YouTube series called The Devil Inside. While this series may not be known by everyone, it has some overall decent reviews for the most part, and was one of the lesser-known projects that Dame Drops was a part of. I don't even know who you are. While this was one of the first and only projects that Dame Drops has been a part of that hasn't included something to do with food, he did seem to enjoy himself while working on it. Reaching out into other genres has helped Dame Drops bring more fans into his own channel and view his own content. The Devil Inside was a YouTube series that was categorized as a comedy and a drama. Created by Jesse Ridgway, who is known for some quirky content on YouTube, Dame Drops appeared in one episode of the series. Dame Drops played a character on the show called Dr. Snap, also known on the show as The Wizard. While it was not his usual sort of content, people have commented that they enjoyed his depiction of the character, and people subsequently became fans of his after looking him up due to this appearance in the series. He was nominated for a Daytime Emmy Award. Dame Drops has a show called Fresh, Fried, and Crispy, which premiered on Netflix in 2021. Fresh, Fried, and Crispy is a reality-style show that follows Dame Drops around to different places in the United States, where he showcases different foods and restaurants local to the areas he visits, specifically focusing on fried foods. The show has one season so far, spanning over eight total episodes. With fairly good reviews, the show is definitely considered a must-watch for fans of Dame Drops, or people who simply like watching shows about fried food. What viewers may not know is that he was nominated for a Daytime Emmy under the category of Outstanding Culinary Host. Fans of Dame Drops, both old and new, consider the nomination well-deserved, and the influencer himself is extremely excited to even be thought of for such a nomination. Few would have guessed that he would have made it this far if they had watched his channel back when it first started. While it's not what he or anyone else really expected, it is fantastic to see a talented creator get recognition for all the hard work he's put in over the 11 or so years that he's been creating content. Want more YouTube foodies? Then tap or click on another great video. Thanks for watching.